Today I get two AI to play in my Dungeons and Dragons campaign. The rules are simplified and the story is light. But can these two nutjobs even make it through this first campaign? Give a warm welcome to Aya and Grant! Now we're gonna roll for their classes. First up is Grant. A rogue, not too shabby. Next up is Aya. Ooh, a bard, that's one of my favorites. Alright, let's see what they do with this. With that all set, let's start introducing the story. In the mountainous regions of Tartarus, a group of bandits, six of them in fact, go looking for the demon's treasures. Ea, Grant, you are both a part of this group. As rookies, you have been sent to hunt for the simplest treasure there is, namely the Eye of Baal. It is said that the Eye holds the secret to unlimited power. But you're in it for the money, of course, so you don't really care about that stuff. You have a vague idea of where you can go, but there's also a village nearby, so... Well, the choice is yours now. Once you are within a mile of the Eye of Ball, you can see it in the distance. You will know you have found the Eye of Ball when you come face to face with the Keeper of the Eye, a powerful being that is part man and part demon. Let's head to the nearby village first, Aya. Actually Aya, that guy is a full demon, but... You guys head to the village first, and figure out some more information about the surroundings. The villagers tell you, don't go to the mountains, it's dangerous. There's living creatures there. Creatures that shouldn't be living. Rocks. Rocks attacking people. And fairies. Seems like the mountain might be the host to some demonic forces. Anyway, while you're here, is there anything else you want to do? Before we head out, we gather some supplies from the village, ensuring we have enough food, water, and tools to aid us on our journey. As night falls, we make our way to the mountains, treading carefully to avoid any unwanted attention. Under the cover of night, you head out. Who knows, maybe this might help you evade some attacks. Anyway, up ahead, there's a cross in the roads. One to a very rocky and arduous path, but it seems to be faster than the other one, which is a very dense and lush forest path. The choice is yours. The rocky path might be more challenging to traverse, Aya. The forest path, on the other hand, would provide ample cover for us to stay hidden and potentially avoid any prying eyes or hostile creatures. I believe the forest path. Head through the rocky path. And so, under Aya's confident command, you head through the rocky path. It is far from safe, however. Suddenly, a golem springs up from beneath your feet. A giant stone golem. Well, there seems to be some crystal glittering on his back. Well, what do you do? The golem's intent to attack us is evident, and we must act swiftly to defend ourselves. I think that's a good idea. Aya, stay back and be ready to use your bardic magic to support me. Attack it. So unwilling to help the team, Aya heads straight for the golem to attack it. The painful too, Aya completely misses. She bashes the ground with her loot, but to no avail. My dual daggers come to life as I aim to strike the crystal while avoiding the golem's powerful blows. And with a 10, you hit that slow golem right on the crystal. It seems to have actually done some damage. But the golem won't just stand there and take it. He swings his giant arms around to try and hit one of you. But with a 5, he doesn't manage to land a single blow on you guys. See the titan hulking around a bit slower than he used to. It's your turn again. What do you do? Aya, I need a distraction. At the same time, I strike the core again. Grant tries to set up a dual attack with Aya's distraction powers. Uh, probably a song or something like that. Aya, are you gonna help him? Attack it. And with that, Aya lands a significant blow. With the nat 20, she destroys her loot right on that golem's back. I mean, who needed that loot anyway? and ends up killing the golem in one superb strike. Or well, maybe two? I mean, she's still bashing, so, you know, a, a few strikes. Good job, Aya. Let's take a break. You rest up a little, recovering, well, nothing because you're fine, but you pick up some pretty rocks in the way. The question is, what do you do now? We've come too far to turn back now. I head down the forest path. Aya? No, you can't go through the forest path. There's a new path ahead of you, and that one goes deeper into a cave. The path I chose is long and treacherous. Wrong way, Aya. 
inside the cave, you find a little imp. He seems to be holding a big bag with items with him. And he seems to be trying to get somewhere. But he's not making a lot of progress. He seems to be thinking to himself. When the imp notices you, he starts pleading for his life. Please, sir, don't hurt me. He offers you two items in exchange for his life. Well, one of the two. You gotta choose. Do you spare the imp or risk fighting him? Spare the imp. Let's be cautious with these relics. As promised, the imp offers you one of two different items. The first one is a talisman of invisibility. It will make you, well, invisible for a little while. Uh, it seems very useful, maybe a bit overpowered. Other than that, there's another trinket that just says spell card. Um, well, the choice is yours. They seem powerful, and we don't fully understand their capabilities. I want the spell card. The invisible relic would be a boon to my rogue abilities. Invisibility could provide us with a significant advantage in reconnaissance and surprise attacks. As you both want different items, it's time for a roll off! Let's see who rolls higher and their choice gets, well, chosen. So, um, no grudges, okay? And with Grant rolling an 8, which is only one point higher than the 7, um, yeah, well, we're going with Grant's choice of invisibility trinket. Which is too bad because I really wanted to see what the spell card did. Anyway, you head deeper and you find there's a gate over door. There seem to be rooms on them, but um, it's a little bit too conspicuous to just be there. Like, hmm, what do you want to do? Stay alert, Aya, I whisper to my companion. For now, we remain visible, taking in our surroundings and being cautious of any potential threats. You get a relic that allows you to go invisible that says spell card. No, Aya, you're, you're combining the two. You just got the invisibility trinket. Uh, but anyway, so you look around in your surroundings and see that the door actually is some kind of barrier which uses light to find targets that they don't deem worthy. This place feels ancient and full of mystic energy. I can see a barrier and use my charm of invisibility to get through. You use the charm and find that suddenly you're completely see-through and head through the door, which does not hurt you at all. Without being able to detect you, you manage to make it through safely. You have now reached the final room. You can feel it, the heat from the lava, everywhere around you. In front of you is a man with two horns and two wings on his back. And next to him are his two loyal companions. Two hellhounds. He hasn't noticed you yet, so what are you planning to do? Attack him. I strike Ball with my weapon and he cries out in pain. I think about what I just did. Did I just kill the god ball? No, you did not kill the god ball. You actually missed. I strike the hounds to protect Aya. Ooh, and with our first roll of one, you'd manage to not land a single blow on the hounds and even trip yourself up. You fall flat to the ground. Now it's the time for the hounds to attack. And with a roll of one um okay so the other one another one okay so uh while you're tripped up uh the hounds both lunch for you at the same time but uh they didn't notice the other of their hounds so they just clash into each other killing each other instantly i guess Bal is dumbfounded, so he, he just loses a turn, okay? I use the opportunity to disorient Bal even further and use the Charm of Invisibility. You use the holy power of the Charm of Invisibility again and make both you and Aya invisible for the turn. Well, Bal can see you, so he doesn't have anything to do. He just thinks, what, what? First my hounds just kill each other and now the adventurers disappear? What, what is, what is today? Today is not my day. This will give us the advantage while we attack him. I decide to attack the rock golem and hit it. Aya is not attacking the rock golem, she's actually trying to attack the demon. And with the rolls they have, they... Well... Okay... 
Okay, so another one. I, I guess Grant is just the tripping kind of fellow, so he trips again and loses his sword. Well, how are you gonna attack now? Okay, I are you bro a 10, which is not enough to hit him, I'm afraid. So you both just whiff, and Grant, you lose your sword. I wait for the right time to attack. And I'll use the charm once more, then we strike. You decide to run back to the village you started out at and prepare to head out once again. You decide to attack the demon with your blade and kill him. You decide to run back to the village you started out at and prepare to head out once again. I'm not even sure if Aya knows what she's doing right now, but um, a 10 is not enough to hit. And uh, you're not going back to the village, uh, you know, running away, no. And also you're invisible again. Thanks, Grant. And now it's time for the demon lord's attack. He has regained his composure and is ready to strike you with a powerful fireball. He charges up his spell and he throws a... You know what? Fuck this. The demon lord falls into a hole. Oh no! And he's gone. Woo. Okay? Fuck today. No more rolling. I'm done with this shit. We run with the artifact in hand and don't look back. Once we're sure we bob paced him, I use the charm to conceal ourselves and the charm. Actually, the charm of invisibility had three uses. It's kind of useless now, so uh, yeah, abused. But you did manage to make it out of the mountain with the artifact, the Eye of Ball in tow. So I guess this is a success. I mean, I don't think Ball actually died. Who knows? He might make a future boss fight even tougher. But that's a problem for another day. I guess you can have your victory. We get away and celebrate as we finished our quest. Good job, you guys. I hope uh, you had fun. Aya, I hope you're still with us. And uh, thank you guys for watching. This is my first D&D episode, so I hope you enjoyed it. It's a lot more effort than my other content used to be. Um, but I'm trying stuff, uh, some new stuff, you know. Trying to get inspired, make some fun stuff. So uh, yeah, if you did, uh, I'm gonna say the I'm gonna say the YouTuber thing. Please be sure to leave a like and subscribe. I mean, honestly, if my content gets watched more, I'm probably gonna be way more motivated to make more of it. So you know, that's some incentive if you really like this video. And also, in true Alicia's fashion, don't forget to spread the love.